Holy shit, what is up guys? This morning I woke up, it's 29 degrees out, freezing. Um, thankfully in the tent I slept really warm, just under my sleeping bag, but getting up and getting it all packed up wasn't the most fun. But I kind of expected this kind of weather. I'm sorry, it's freezing. Um, it's 4, 10 a.m. right now, I got up at like four, so it took me about 10 minutes to pack everything up and take the dogs out. Um, just kind of waiting here until my phone charges so I can get back on the road. Um, oh, I'll see you guys on the road. I gotta swap batteries. It died overnight. The cold drained the battery out of the GoPro. I was at 75%. Now I'm at 26%, so great. We're back on the road this morning. Uh, it's about 4.30 now. Thank God the gas stations were open, but just filled up. Um, I'm headed out for the morning. Willow's not the happiest. She doesn't like the cage. I don't blame her. It's new to her. But we are 80 something miles from the border right now. Um, sunrise is looking pretty beautiful. Um, I'm just kind of hungry, so I'm gonna snack on some goldfish or something and just continue driving. I'll pull you guys out if anything eventful happens. I'm right now passing the US Customs. It's really kind of funny because it's a 20 mile difference. So right here is US Customs. It is 20 miles until the Canadian Customs. So one kind of funny thing, it kind of makes me and my dad laugh, who owns the middle ground here. Um, it, it's just kind of funny. Nobody, I guess, owns it. I guess someone has to own it, but I don't know who. But as you can see, I really don't know if you guys can see that, but Canada, woo. So all in, well, we got past the border. Um, the dude at the border was kind of a dick. Um, so it said to wait until called, I got there. He waved something behind the glass that I couldn't see that was glaring. And then when I got actually got up there, dude was just a dick about everything. So, I tried to be as nice as I could, but he was a prick. Nothing I can do about it. Um, he let us by though. Got the puppy. She was good without a rabies tag with the health certificate, so I'm really thankful for that. Um, and 179 miles of just straight driving um, before I don't even know what's next. Um, I'm really hoping for somewhere to grab some breakfast. If I can find it, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me because some food's better than none, right guys? I'll see you then.
haven't found gas, but I'm doing really good. I'm going like 250, 275 miles on three quarters of a tank. Um, there's supposed to be another town, I didn't even see what it was, about 30 kilometers, which is 20-ish miles from here. Um, hopefully there's gas or something there. Um, worst comes to worst, I have a gas can in here. I just don't have a funnel for it, which sucks. The spout that came with it just broke and didn't work. Um, thanks government for carb, it's bullshit. Um, I'm really thinking about buying a gas can here in Canada that doesn't have one of those stupid spouts or seeing if I can find one for my gas can. Um, Willow's been doing good. Um, after I took her out, she started howling for a bit, but nothing too bad. Canine's being a good dog sleeping. Um, I'll let you guys know if there's gas there. But for now, I'm just still driving. Waiting for food. I still haven't had breakfast. I'm starving. <coughs> Excuse me. It's been four hours on the road, still nothing to eat. So, hopefully soon. Okay, so the day is saved. Um, the place is called Burwash Landing. They have gas, let's hope they're open. Um, the last one, way back in Beaver Lodge that I stopped at, or some beaver something. They were closed, sadly. Um, so, I'm hoping they're open. If not, I'm gonna have to wait until they are open because I need gas. I'm not gonna make it to Whitehorse on a quarter tank. It's another 100-ish miles, 120 miles. So, I'm gonna grab some gas, hopefully find some food, then head back out. Hey guys, quick shameless plug. I have keychains. Yeah, that's still upright. I have keychains, I have hoodies, I have t-shirts. I'm pretty sure I still have hats. Um, go check the link in the description. So we're just now here pulling into Haynes Junction. Um, I'm hoping there's something here for food. Um, I gotta take a left here, I th think, yeah. So, doesn't quite look like there's anything to eat. Oh, I remember this. Um, I think, I think this is the place. Uh, last year when my dad and I came through, uh, the guy at the restaurant, as we went to go open the door, Note, they still had an hour still open. They locked the door on us because they didn't want to serve us. No idea why, they just locked the door. Um, yeah, I think I'm getting close to Whitehorse. I'm pretty close. So I'm probably just gonna wait until there, grab some McDonald's. It's easy, it's cheap. Um, I'm gonna get back to you guys there because we've kind of ran out of nice scenery. Really all I've been seeing, stuff like this. Great. That's the place. Frosties. That fucking place locked the door on us. What is up, guys? Um, it's now 1.17. Uh, kind of left you guys there. Um, I didn't really bring you into Whitehorse. I was more focused on getting something to eat, finally. I was starving, grabbing some gas, and hitting back on the road. Um, we took the puppies out. Uh, Willow's just not interested in going to the bathroom, so I think she's okay. Whatever. Um, I'm right now 330-ish miles from Watson Lake. Side note, I was wrong saying kilometers or miles. It's kilometers. That's the right one. So, disregard how far I'm going tonight. I'll probably be going further. And that's kind of my goal for today. If I can get that far, I'll be happy or close to it. Um, this is kind of the boring part of the trip. It's really flat. There's not really any mountains other than behind me. Not much to see or do. So I'm waiting for the U.S. so I can finally have fun things to do with you guys other than driving. This is brutal. So I don't know if this is only me. But do you, do any of you guys get super, super tired, even when you just slept, on 
on roads that have absolutely no one or anything to look at other than trees. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, but it makes me really, really tired, and that's a problem because I go like 30, 40 miles and I can fall asleep. And I need to go like another 300 today. So I finally remembered something I need to talk about. So UTI in July, June, one of those. Um, currently, I don't actually know if I'll be attending that school for the sheer fact that they gave me, well, not they, the government, or whoever I help, has authority over it, gave me absolutely zero financial aid. Oh, sorry. Um, they gave me absolutely zero financial aid. So, they wanted my parents to take out 30000 some odd dollars in loans at 7.4%, which I would have ended up paying anyway. And then me personally taking out, um, I think it was 12000 something in loans at 5.4%, which is brutal for loans either way, 7.4 or 5.2, whatever it was. Um, so right now we have paperwork in, it's like an exemption or external, it's some weird paperwork that they go recheck the FAFSA and re-examine it for some other type of situation. Not exactly sure what it was. We would ju just ask if there was a way to go around this and try to get more um, financial aid and they sent us this. So currently I have no idea if I'm actually attending the school. Um, hopefully I am. I really don't see myself doing anything else. Um, but at the moment, it's still up in the air if I'm going to be able to go because personally, it's not worth $42,000 in loans at god-awful interest rates. Um, but that being said, I'll find something to do if I don't end up going to UTI. But eventually, I will end up going if I have enough money. It's just a matter of time and money. So, just thought I'd let you guys know. Just went through uh, Watson Lake, stopped at my favorite gas station there. Sadly, the guy with the puppy that I give tennis balls to every time I go through, I either isn't there anymore or wasn't there today. Um, Re-upped on my sleep in a can. Um, it's 5.57, so I've been over 12 hours at this point. Um, almost 14, actually. Um, I'd like to get to Fort Nelson. I'm not exactly sure how far it is from here. Um, but if I find somewhere nice to stop before then, I'm gonna. Um, I'm not really tired. I just know I'm gonna need to sleep. So, see you on the road.